Tallywood Bushcraft here and today I have another tip for you guys. I'm going to be showing you uh, a real simple easy uh, way to wrap your axe. Uh, reasons for doing this is to help protect your axe against overswings uh, when it comes to the very top of the wood of the axe and <clears throat> also uh, in an emergency survival situation uh, you'll have extra cordage if you were to need it. Uh, you could do this with juke twine, uh, paracord, poly rope, you know, any of those kind of things. Uh, today I'm going to go with a paracord uh, right here and I decided to go with a orange color uh, paracord. This is 550 strand strength paracord. I went with orange because a lot of times I will use my axe and I'll set it down and then I'll spin Probably a good 30 minutes of my time trying to find where I put my axe at because it just kind of blends right into the ground. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the amount of paracord you're going to need, uh, I would suggest right around 12 to 15 feet of paracord. And what we're going to do is you want to figure out how far down you want to go on your axe. Uh, from the head of the axe all the way to the very end. Uh, I want to go probably a good 9, 10 inches down right to about where the Gransford Brooks logo is. And what we're going to do is you're going to grab your end of paracord and you want to take uh, and make a loop just like I did there. I'm about, like I said, about 9 to 10 inches down. And then what we're going to do is all your remaining paracord is you kind of want to pull some of that back while keeping that loop. So you have about one inch of the tail of your paracord sticking above the head of the axe. Uh, and then from there, all we're going to do is we're going to take the long, the rest of your paracord, and we're going to start wrapping around your loop that you had made. So as you guys can see, I'm just kind of going down. Now you don't want to do this real tightly. Uh, you just want it nice and snug so nothing gets loose and then you want to constantly keep bringing your your lines up and uh, Pushing your lines together. You don't want to ever overlap uh, During a pass you just want to kind of make that nice and simple and just keep going down and I will go ahead and Speed this up till I get to the very end of my loop and we'll show you what happens next Alrighty, now once you got this all wrapped up and you got it to the, your desired length down on the axe, all we're going to do is, well, we'll go around, we'll go around one more time. Why not? So then once we have it going around, we're going to take your end piece of paracord and you're going to push it right through that loop that we made in the beginning. Now once that loop is through, we're going to go ahead and the end piece that we started off with that was above the X, we're just going to go ahead, we're just going to go ahead and start tugging that through, which that, as you notice right here, is kind of cinching down that. And all you want to do is kind of use like your fingernail or your finger, kind of help push that knot that it made over the strands of paracord. So each time it you tug on it, just kind of help guide that underneath. That way I can give you guys a better view of what's going on. I'm just kind of simply help guiding that that knot through. This is where it gets tricky. You know, you just gotta uh, work with it, kind of just help. As you can see, I got my knot about halfway up the axle. Trying to keep my, my fingers out of the way for you guys to see.
All right, now that we got that pushed all the way to the top, uh, all we have to do is just cut off this excess right here, just like that. Uh, you can just trim some of that up. Just like that. And now we can protect our axe from an overswing. And we have an emergency about 10 to 15 feet of paracord. Uh, just want to kind of just go ahead and make that look a little bit nicer. And there you go. Also, when you set your axe down, uh, it won't be as hard to find. So that is how you wrap your axe. I could actually wrap the very end of this handle if I wanted to as well. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave that just like that. I think that looks pretty good. It's always nice to have a nice little emergency sash paracord when you need it. And also protecting your axe against overswings. I hope you guys find that video informative. Uh, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment down below if this was helpful in any way. And if you want to keep seeing more of the bushcraft tips. I'm Tyler Wood, and I'll see you guys on the next one.